Hello my royal lovelies and welcome back to the channel. If you can hear any weird noises, it's because I'm sat delayed waiting for a flight in the airport at Barcelona. So I thought I'd whip out my phone and start talking about Prince Harry. It's been a week and I need to get stuck back into some royal news. So, Prince Harry, what's he been up to? Well, he has been trying to continue... Well, he's not trying, he is continuing his fight against the Home Office to try and get back his lost security. But of course, what he fails to realise is that he gave it all up when he left, absconded, and left everybody back in the UK for a life of wealth and luxury and glamour and Megsy baby. Um, so yeah, he gave it all up. He knew what he was giving up. He was warned. Do not do not forget, they had the Sandringham Summit where he would have been made perfectly aware by Her Late Majesty by the King and by Prince William that he was going to lose his security should he step away or at the very least that it was incredibly likely that Ravek would strip him of this right and this privilege he was walking away from being a working royal therefore he was not entitled to that level of security so after a what is now a three-year battle he is pressing ahead um, this is no surprise to me because he is completely deluded and of course he thinks that he will get exactly what he wants. There is to be a two-day hearing which, we, which will be held at the Court of Appeal in April. So we haven't got terribly too long to wait, um, although I'm sure it's, it's killing Prince Harry waiting for this appeal. So, um, like I said, his determination to restore his round-the-clock security while in the UK is understood to be part of his desire to return here more regularly. Now, my comments on this are that there have been reports from his side that he doesn't want to return, that he's happy. Friends have commented to the media that he's happy where he is, blah, blah, blah. We can all see completely through this. He wants back in the UK. He wants his security. He wants his luxury life. He wants his position. He wants his role. He wants a sense of purpose because what has he been doing in the US? He rides his bike. He feeds his chickens. He probably, well, he, ne he needs to go shopping for some new shoes because I've seen him in the same shoes. Goodness knows how many times. He probably needs to go shopping for a new wife, to be honest. But anyway, um, I'm, a, I'm afraid he's stuck with the one that he's got. So he is missing his life in the UK. Um, we can all see it. That look on his face when he's doing anything with Megsy Baby. It just says it all. You know, a picture can speak a thousand words. We don't need an, another Oprah interview or anything. Um, we can tell that he is unhappy. Uh, he wants back in the UK. He, I mean, there was that story that came out while I was away on holiday that he wanted to... Ooh, bing, bing, bong. Ooh. After that little interruption, we are back. Uh, it was a lost... Back, well, it, it was a reminder not to uh, leave your baggage unattended. We are currently sat uh, with our baggage. Uh, just like Prince Harry, he sat with his baggage, his wife. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, he wants back, of course he does. He wants his house back, he wants his life back, he wants to be admired by all the people, blah, blah, blah. But it's not going to wash. The King, Prince William, they're not having any of it. Uh, and I think Steely Catherine behind the scenes as well is definitely putting her stilettoed heel down and blocking anything. Um, the High Court, a High Court judge, I should say, ruled earlier in the year that Harry had comprehensively lost a, and I quote, a frankly hopeless bid to appeal against a Home Office decision about his UK security. So I don't think he's going to get anywhere with this. He had sought to have a judicial review over a decision made by, this is what RAVEC st stands for, if you didn't know. It's the Royal and VIP Executive Committee, RAVEC for short to remove his right to automatic police protection after he left for being a working royal. However, in May, uh, the Court of Appeal granted him leave to challenge the High Court judgment. Uh, now, a court official has confirmed that, that a date has been set for the Duke's appeal to be heard in London starting on either April the 8th or April the 9th. We're not entirely sure, but it will be round about those dates. 
The hearing is also listed on an official publicly available website and it shows how the case was passed to the Court of Appeal listing office on July the 12th. So this is not fake news, this is absolutely confirmed. Um, Now, the King is said to find the dispute very tricky because it means that uh, Harry is basically suing his own government uh, and wants no involvement in it. The King is obviously leaving this up to the government of the day. But Harry, however, reportedly believes that members of his father's household influenced the decision to remove his enhanced security. So this must obviously rankle with Harry. He feels attacked. I'm not quite sure where he's got this justification from to to even think that. Um, A royal biographer, Ingrid Seward, described Harry as tunnel-visioned and said the king knows his son is very stubborn. It's damaging to his father, she added. It's embarrassing to him on a more personal level to think that his own son doesn't feel safe in the country, in his own homeland. And yet he goes to Nigeria, he goes to all these different places around the world that are very dangerous. We're going to call it the worldwide, I don't know, danger tour. Um, He doesn't let things go. That's Harry's nature, a bit like his mum. It's very Diana to pursue something and Harry's just not letting go. I kind of agree but don't agree with this because Diana could be stubborn and I think Harry does have that trait. So does William, to be quite honest. However, Diana knew when to let go. Harry seems like a dog with a bone. For example, I'm going to give you an example. Um, Diana, when she got divorced from, from Prince Charles, as he was back then, the HRH was up for sort of, you know, up for grabs, if you like. And she initially wanted it. She initially pushed for it with her lawyers and her legal team. And she capitulated. She agreed to give up the HRH, you know, for for money and blah, blah, blah. Um, So she knew when to let go. Harry doesn't seem to know (laughs) when to let go. He doesn't know when something is a lost cause. And this is most definitely a lost cause. Harry received full publicly funded protection before stepping back as a working royal and he does still to a degree have that protection when he comes to the UK he has to give I believe uh, 20 something days notice Um, so he does still have to inform them and he's basically received protection when he has arrived if Ravek have felt that it is necessary uh, for him to have it uh, which has He's pretty much almost had it every single time. He wouldn't probably get it if he was going on private engagements or he was visiting on a very personal level. But from the airport to wherever he's been going in the UK, he has managed to get um, security in terms of that. Um, So please let me know in the comments section below what you think about this. Do you feel that Harry should have his protection back uh, or do you think that he should continue the way that he has been and just accept it as this is his new reality because it's his choice he made this decision he did the actions he made the decision he decided to do oprah and all the rest of it and basically trash talking his own country trash talking his own family yeah um If he were to make a permanent return to the UK, I'm sure something could be worked out on a more permanent, proactive basis. But whilst he's still stuck in Montecito, I don't think anything is going to happen. Uh, Sources have also revealed that the Duke had been consulting people from his old life, which is claimed uh, signified the first stage in a strategy to rehabilitate him towards spending more time in the UK. Again, um, Harry's camp have kind of talked against this and spoken out and said that it's not true. Um, yeah, I think, I think the lady does protest too much, in my opinion. He wants back. He's desperate, absolutely desperate. He wants to come back and basically do what he proposed before he left. Do you remember that very embarrassing website that he put out? A wish list, basically, that hadn't been agreed by the palace or the queen or anybody. Um, he wants to fly back in, be a part-time working royal, and then waltz back out and do mega money money deals off the back of it all. 
it wasn't going to wash back then and it's still not going to wash now you can't be half in half out um i think harry will take this legal appeal to the very end um, but i don't think it's going to get anywhere my loves right thank you for watching this video if you've enjoyed it please give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to share on social media and of course do hit the bell so that you know whenever i upload a new video until next time do you all my lovelies and goodbye